God remembers your prayers. For every single thing that you asked the Lord in the past, He remembers it. You might forget all your prayers. It could be after 10 or 15 years, completely forgotten about the prayer things, but God remembers every single word that you use. When you prayed as a Sunday school child, when you prayed in your teen age, when you prayed in the adult age, every word that you asked Him, everything that you asked Him, He remembers it. Hallelujah. Whatever that you prayed asking for yourself, He remembers that. Today you could be in a situation where nobody can help you, but God remembers all your prayers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, why I am saying this? Whenever we pray, God is always mindful of our prayers. Why do I say this? See, I have this experience with my daughter all that time. In the night, sometimes when I'm free, I'll go through the Shopee or Lazada to see if there's some good items or not. With a very uh, reasonable price, just to check around. My daughter, she'll come beside me, let me me and say that, Apa, I want this toy, she'll touch this, this screen. And even all the toys will come on. Now what will happen? She will scroll it with my, I'm holding the phone, with, she'll be scrolling everything one by one. Say, Apa, I want this, Apa, I want this. Everything she will ask. She's just years old. She will ask everything. And me as a father, I know which is suitable for her. Not everything is beneficial for her. So when I see, you want this or not? You want when she chooses the right thing, okay, Appa will get for you, don't worry. Appa will get for you, don't worry. I'll leave it. And the next day she might forget that because as a three years old girl, she will not remember all these things. But at the moment she asked me, that thing will be in my mind. I'll be mindful of it. Keep on thinking that somehow I must get something similar to this, a good quality, a better one for my daughter. She has asked that. Sometimes it will take one week, two weeks or even one month. I'll carefully go look around to make sure it's a very good uh, product that will not cost anything to her. Hallelujah. And until I get for her what she asked, I will not be able to sleep peacefully. So when I was going through this few times in my life, I was asking, what's really happening to me? This little one just entered my life and she's stealing my time and all these things. I keep on thinking about what to get for her all that time. And then the Holy Spirit spoke to me, this is how your heavenly father too. Whenever you ask something in prayer, your father in heaven will not rest until he get it for you. And that thing truly touched my heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We as, see, we, I would not have this experience without being a father. After being a father, everything was totally new for me. And most of the thing I learn about God through what I'm going through with my daughter. I can feel that if I being an earthly father has this much love on my daughter, how much more God would be living me? Hallelujah. At the moment, she asked something. When I had the thing, okay, I must get this for her. I'm mindful of it. I'm mindful of her request to fulfill what she asked. I work day and night. You know, when I go to shop, I come back. If I drop by, to, my wife will be very tired. I said, please, give me five minutes. I'll go into this shop and see whether we got the item or not. I will make it to wait to get something for my daughter. Hallelujah. Then I feel like if I can put this much of effort for my daughter, how much God would work for me? How much he would be eagerly waiting to see that my prayers are being fulfilled? Hallelujah. This is what truly happens when we pray. At the moment we begin to pray, God takes the prayer request, He works on it. He works on it. The problem is, we don't wait. We don't wait. I put my daughter to wait sometimes. I have a reason for it. Hallelujah. And when she does not expect something, there's a time I give a surprise to her. It's not that she asked me today, tomorrow I would get it for her. I need to pray and ask God's permission as well. Hallelujah. Though it's a daughter that God gave him to me, I need to ask God's permission as well. I need to wait for the time. Likewise, in heaven, there is a law in heavenly realm where there's time set for everything. Hallelujah. So even God, He's eagerly waiting to get for us the thing that we ask for. Okay? He is eagerly waiting. For example, why I'm saying is that when I got the things for my daughter, when she used the thing, 
I see her being joyful, I too will be joyful. As so I got the toy for myself. Have you noticed that? You know, when you get that for your children, when they are enjoying that, you will be happy. And another point the Lord told me, that's how your heavenly father rejoiced too. Hallelujah. He, he gets us everything, he gives us everything. And then he celebrates that thing with us as though he is experiencing that. Don't forget the book of Romans 12, it says that rejoice for others as you rejoice for yourself. If he can teach about that, wouldn't he rejoice for us all the time? He rejoiced. Hallelujah. He's so joyfully celebrating when we get what we prayed for. Hallelujah. You are saying that, Lord, I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. You know something? In God's part, in God's way of view, He is eagerly waiting when the time will come so He can give you what you asked for. Hallelujah. And till you receive, till you receive that prayer that you ask from God, He will be mindful of it. His joy is when He gets for you what you need, what you asked. Hallelujah. So don't underestimate your prayer. Your prayer has the power. Of course, some prayers are being unanswered because sometimes we are so in flesh that we ask things that are wicked for us. We feel it is good, it is right for us, but it is not good for us. It's as a father, if my daughter asked for me uh, from a, a weapon, a knife, do you think I'll get for her just because she asked for it? I know that will harm herself. If she touch a toy, if it is it, it, under her age, I mean, uh, when it is below for, for the this is below thirty years old, I can get for her. If it is for twelve years old, do you think I can get for her? No, I won't do that. Even if it is cheap, I won't get that because why? That is not the right age for her. The same thing. If you ask for something that can harm you, do you think God will give you? No, He will not give that. Hallelujah. Being a father, we know which is good, which is evil. How much more our heavenly Father who sees everything about our life, our future. He filters, He gets the right thing, the best thing, the better quality for you in everything. Hallelujah. That much God loves you. That's why I'm telling you, He's mindful of your prayers. Do you think God simply calls you to pray? Do you think that God calls you just for a fun? Huh? All the time when God said, come and pray, come and pray, come and pray. Hmm? Do you think that God simply calling you just because He wants to pass His time with you? No. When He calls you, the benefit is not for Him, for you. It's for you. Because when you pray, He's answering the prayer. So who, who's getting the benefit? You or God? God. But then he, he, by right, you are the one who should be knocking the door. Asking, Lord, open the door, I want to talk to you. But the thing is, he's knocking your door, come and talk to me, I'll give you what you want. We should be sad about it. True or not? He is calling you, come to me, ask me, talk to me, put your request before me, I will answer you. But we are not doing that. We are not doing that. But that we should be doing that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He remembers. So don't think that God has forgotten all your prayers. Hallelujah. No matter how many years it went, He still remembers.